What's up everyone, welcome back to Fishing Hex. Today's video is going to be a very quick video on my manifold that I use for this uh, 125 gallon reef tank. I apologize, my throat's still a little scratchy, kind of under the weather. But I want to get this video out, have some questions about a manifold. So I just want to clarify a couple things and how I actually do it, okay? So let's get into it. This here, right here, um, you can't really see because the uh, tank's in the way, but I have a check valve here, okay? And then this is what comes off the main pump. I come to a T, alright? This one here goes to the main display. I have a ball valve on here where I can adjust the flow rate. It basically adds back pressure on the pump, which allows me to put more through the manifold. All right, so that's what that is. Now, coming off the T valve, we have it going up over to another uh, ball valve, which allows me to turn off the manifold when I need to do any kind of maintenance. All right, so let me see if I can move this over. Lights are in the way. As you can see, it runs all the way across. And then I have four different sections here. All right. Now I put caps on them to, so I could remove them later to add more devices as I need. And uh, so let's get through it. So I have the one here that controls both reactors here, the uh, calcium, or sorry, not the calcium, but the GFO and the ROX carbon from bulk resupply. The second one that controls the bio pellet reactor. I do have a secondary valve on here to adjust the flow if I need to anymore. This one here goes to the feeding manifold, which goes behind the tank to the right-hand side, which then connects into the refrigerator. So when I want to dose from the refrigerator, that manifold supplies the power for that. And then, of course, I have the empty one here. If I ever want to add like a calcium reactor or something down the road, it's basically uh, when you build your manifold, build one so you can upgrade. Don't just add one connection because you'll find out that you'll need more down the road, and then you'll have to rebuild the manifold, hence wasting money. So add as many as you think you'll need. And then uh, add enough uh, tube so you can cut it off. You know, I'm a little close here on that one, but uh, add enough tube so you can cut it off and add the adapter as you need it. Um, key pain for manifolds, make sure that your main return pump has the ability to can handle not only returning enough water flow to the main tank, but to also power the, the devices that you need. Um, I have a DC6000 on this tank, and I have it barely putting anything through the main display, and most of it's going through the reactors. Um, I do need to upgrade that pump down the road. I was going to do either the 12,000 or the 15,000, and that's the Jable pump, just an FYI. And uh, I will down the road, and um, but for now, that's kind of kind of where it is and the way it is. But uh, it's essential that you add those ball valves so you can adjust the flow and manipulate the flow uh, the way you want to. If you uh, if you don't have those ball valves, essentially the flow is going to go the easiest route to get to the you know final destination, and. Uh, if you don't have that ball valve there, you're not going to be able to put enough flow through the, uh, the manifold. All right? So that's it on that, guys. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. And until uh, next time, guys, peace.